All right, so let's change our stage so it's not just a plain white color. Let's go. That's kind of a pretty blue, isn't it? All right, I'm going to zoom in just a bit and maybe a little bit more. Okay, so let's grab just a circle over here. We're actually going to draw out our little component real quick. There we go. Nice plain circle. Uh, you can see it had that stroke on it, so that's what's actually selected right now. I'm just going to delete that out. Okay, and I'm going to hit F8 on the keyboard. And what I'm going to do is convert this to a symbol. If uh, hitting F8 on the keyboard is giving you troubles, well, you can just go over here to Modify, Convert to Symbol, right? And just call that Circle. That's good enough. Uh, and then to create a nice little toggle, let's go and grab the uh, rectangle over here. Set your rectangle options, so your rounding, uh, up to 30 or so. Let's see how that looks. Oh, perfect. That's beautiful. All right. So I've got about sized up like that. And on this one, I'm going to delete out the fill in the middle. Okay. So you can see I've had both a stroke and uh, just a white fill in the middle of it. I'm going to get rid of the uh, interior part. Actually, you know what? I could leave it on for a second and then here we'll tint it blue. And that's the same blue as the background. So let's make it just slightly different. How's that? Yeah, yeah good enough. All right, so once you've done that, uh, just kind of double click inside of here, right? And that's actually going to select both the stroke and the fill. Again, uh, let's go over here. I'll look at the slow way one more time. So we're going to go over here to modify, convert to symbol. Let's call this the backing part of it, right? And then let's put that right uh, underneath this one. So one easy way you could do this is just cut it off and then paste it back down again, just using your normal cut and paste keys. And look at that, I got it kind of perfectly sized up there, right? So you might need want to shrink one or the other, um, just depending if it's, you don't have, kind of, you know, if it looks a lot different. Uh, and to do that, uh, you know, you could, uh, of course, zoom in a little bit. And again, this is, I hit the Q key, kind of skew it up and down like so. There we go. All right, looks good enough to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take both of these things, all right? So I've just selected both of them now. And I'm going to hit F8, convert it to a symbol again. And so we'll just call this toggle switch. All right, good enough. And now I'm going to go over here and give it uh, an instance name. Let's make this a little bit different than what the movie clip name. Just so, I don't know, why not? We'll call it simple toggle, okay? So capital T in there, just the word simple in the beginning. And code-wise, um, we can refer to this as simple toggle now all right uh one thing that'll kind of drive me nuts if i don't adjust it sooner than later is remember how i had that action script written written on this frame right so if i were to go over here and open up the actions again you'd see that i've got code written in there uh it's gonna drive me crazy if i don't pull this off of that frame and put it on just another one so i'm gonna paste that back in we'll call this toggle we'll call this code all right uh, now, what we're sort of doing here is building up our own component, and uh, ActionScript actually has some built-in components. None that actually look like this, though, but there's things like checkboxes that would sort of do essentially that, right? Um, and they've got all sorts of properties kind of built into them, and, and, and uh, you, you know, might want to check out some of these, pull them down in here. This is a good one. Button, right? Seems pretty darn functional. Uh, but uh, but again, you know, if you kind of if you're picky about the user interface, or if you want to try to make this look like your iOS app, um, you can do stuff like this. So let's go and double click inside of here now. So we're going to double click inside the movie clip, and uh, movie clips are kind of these self-running timelines of their own. Uh, you'll notice that when I did double click in, right? So I'm going to double click again. Uh, the timeline has changed, so you no longer saw that code in that toggle layer over here. What you're seeing is the internal timeline of this uh, movie clip. So we can kind of do all the same things that we would in the main timeline, but now we can do them inside of here. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the circle off of here. So just uh, cut it off. It's in my clipboard now. I'm going to paste it back in place again. So just go over here, paste in place. And I'll change these later names. Circle, backing, right? And what we can do inside of here is um, animate them. So uh, let's go out to frame five. Just select both of these. I'm going to hit F6 on the keyboard. 
Uh, or I could do it uh, by right clicking over here, just insert keyframe. And on that frame, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and use the directional arrow, so just move it off to the left. Okay, so uh, after I do that, I'm gonna go over here to create classic tween. And you can see, I'm just hitting the return key to kind of preview the, the animation. You can see it just goes off to the left, right? Not a big deal. Uh, let's do this though. Let's also um, fade this guy out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, again, just create a classic tween, it's kind of the easier tweens to, to deal with, and uh, I'm going to take the alpha down on this all the way, okay? So you can see you can go anywhere in between. I'm going to take it all the way down, and you're going, wait, now it doesn't look like a toggle at all. It just looks like a circle floating in space. Well, let's fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another new layer, right? I'm going to drag this one below here. I'm going to copy this right so again just just copied it now i'm going to paste it into place so it's right underneath this other one and if it's a little hard to tell we'll just turn off the visibility of the your other two layers over here you can see okay now we got that guy and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, make a unique instance of this so i'm going to go and uh, go over here to symbol duplicate symbol this, now this is a little bit different than just a copy and paste is actually going to make a, a new version of this entirely. So it's going to be in the library now as backing two, okay? And if you were to go over here to library, you can see it's backing, backing two, right? Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click inside of here and I'm just going to take out that um, fill in the, in the middle of it, okay? So now what's going to happen when I make these visible again, as you can see, basically just that blue part in the middle is now gone. If that's kind of hard to see, you know what, maybe I, what I should do is I should take the, I'll make the stage kind of darker, right? So again, double click inside of here, you can see what happens, right? And if you want to kind of speed this up or slow it down, you can move this off of here. But you know, we're gonna, code wise, we're going to actually reference, we're going to use frame five. So let's just leave it at frame five. Um, now, uh, what we'll do, if I, is, if I were to test this at this moment, uh, so let's just go over here and go to Control, Test Movie, or just Test. Uh, you can see, what you'll see is that, whoa, wait a minute, this, this guy's kind of out of control. You know, he's, he's gone nuts. Uh, so we want to fix that. So let's go, again, I've just double-clicked inside of here. Uh, when I ran this, it opened up the output window, so I just want to switch back over here to Timeline. Uh, let's make a new layer inside of here. And on this, let's open up our Actions window. I'm just going to write stop in here real quick. All right, so there we go. And uh, now if I were to, to run this, you're not going to see it bugging out, okay? Uh, so let's go back over to here. And then what we'll do is let's go ahead and just copy this out. And you can hold down the Option key and just drag this so it just stops right there. Uh, and then let's do the same thing again. So I'm going to actually select all of these frames. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry, let's go and copy just these three. In fact, really, we could just copy these two. So I'm going to uh, copy these frames. I'm going to come out here to frame 10, paste those frames in. I'm going to put back in my classic tween. So that way you can see that essentially what we're going to do is we're going to tell this toggle to go to here and stop. And then when we want it to toggle back the other way, it's just going to go to here. And at this point, it could stop again. We could just use stop in here. What we could also do is, uh, again, hit F7 to make a kind of new marker in here uh, for our actions. And um, I could just send it back to frame one. So that's either one would kind of work for this. So I'll just say go to and stop uh, one. Okay, so that's going to send it back to frame one. And um, at this point, uh, you know, let's just go ahead and put, I'm going to hit F5 here, or I'll show you this a little way again, insert frame, right? Just basically extends out what was visible down there. Otherwise, that bottom part wouldn't be visible. So there it is. Just going back and forth like that. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll really kind of um, control this thing with action script. So that part's set up. Let's go ahead and save the file. Uh, jump back over here to our main scene. Uh, and actually, let's jump into our uh, initial setup action script file. And let's have some fun with this. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a new variable. This is gonna call, I'm going to call this uh, is toggle on. Okay, and this is going to be a Boolean type variable, which just means it's um, 
offer on, or true or false, really. So there we go, true. And uh, if you're coming from Swift, hey, this should look really similar. This is almost how you'd write it in Swift, right? Uh, you don't have to do the, that thing. Actually, I don't think you have to do it in either of these languages now that I think about it. I got, I've been thinking too much about PHP where you absolutely have to put that little semicolon in there. All right, so remember, we call this simple toggle. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write uh, simple toggle dot add event listener. And you know what? I should go back to this real fast and just remind you guys where that was. That was written right there, simple toggle. Okay. And what we're going to listen for is mouse event. Now you're thinking, wait, this is going to be an, an app, right? Uh, but that's okay. Um, you can use mouse event dot click for this. Essentially, just it's the same as a tap uh, if you're using uh, a, a mobile device. And we'll say, in fact, we'll just we'll make our function name called tapped toggle. Okay. And now we need to write that function. And again, if you're coming from the iOS world, we would have stopped right there. Now we just write in here function, right? Tapped uh, toggle. And we're going to write in here e mouse event void, which means we're not um, returning anything from this. Uh, and then what we'll do is um, we don't really have to do this, but just for fun, let's let's do just a little bit of um, casting. So I'm going to say var toggle, okay. And let's see what you want to do is. Do that afterwards. Movie clip. E dot current target. Okay. As movie clip. Right. Uh, and then what we could do is we could say if toggle is movie clip. I'm sorry. And you could say trace. Yes. Okay. Uh, another option you could put in here would be, you know, if it was a button, if it was uh, another kind of more more general one, display object. If you're, again, if you're kind of coming from the action script world, that would be sort of like writing node, or like, yeah, if you're in Sprite Kit. Um, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> trying to remember is that right? Uh, let, let, but let's see if this works. So again, I'm going to hit uh, Command and return, or if you want to go the slow way, just go over here to test. And we'll see what happens. So I'm going to uh, tap on this. And you can see every time I tap it, of course, it's not going to do anything yet. But it spits out yes over there. So uh, that's working. And uh, inside of here, now what I could do is, well, I could certainly get rid of this. Uh, I could refer to it as toggle. In fact, I could actually refer to it as toggle outside of that too. But I guess just as a kind of further safety check. Uh, we'll write inside of here. And you know what? Uh, you could also just get rid of all this entirely and just start by referring to this as simple toggle. One or the other. kind of doesn't matter. Um, but, uh, okay, here we go. So what we'll do is uh, we're going to write if is toggle on equals true, okay, which keep in mind it starts off as on. Uh, then what we're going to do is one thing, else we'll do another thing. Okay, so is toggle on? This is going to equal false now. The opposite will be true as well. And what we can do is write toggle dot go to and play one. All right, so that's going to play it forward from that point. Otherwise what we'll do is we'll uh, put in here go to and play five and now when we test this out we should get something like this happening. All right, so back and forth, back and forth. But here's an important thing we should do. Verify that this is actually going to be set to false. This is actually going to be set to true and well come to think of it I could just put in here these values. All right, so let's just see what happens? So again, false, true, true, false. But now if I sit here and I double click on this thing like crazy, <laughs> look what happened. True, but wait a minute, that's not the that's not our on state for this, right? So if I basically it switched around because I went nuts. 
double clicking on that thing. But there's a way to solve that. What we're going to do is put in here and toggle dot current frame equals one. And then I'm going to take this entire if statement right here and put it over here. Else if is toggle equals false and toggle is on the current frame, then you can go back. So basically it just keeps us from um, doing anything while the, uh, the toggle is animating. And what I'll do down here is I'll put one final trace statement for if neither of these is true, trace toggled while, I can just say animation, animating, right? And again, if I wanted to be stu studious about putting in my semicolons, I could. As you guys can see, it doesn't really matter. So uh, now when I run things, I'm going to double click on this a lot of times. There you go. You can see that at one point it caught it, right? So I'll just kind of keep trying to mess it up. It takes a lot of double clicking, fast double clicking. Uh, but it's, uh, it's not getting deterred over here, right? So my last state was true. This is... And again, now it's toggled off, false, and so on. So that, uh, that should make things nice and uh, <laughs> safe for you guys. And that is kind of what I wanted to lead off with, you know. So you got kind of a good idea of how to, um, you know, create a movie clip, animate a little bit, use a little bit of code, uh, do some, you know, just a bit of casting. Again, we could have referred to... The, the simple toggle directly inside of this code, that would have been fine. Uh, what this does is this would make it so that you could kind of use a, a different um, toggle. So for example, uh, what I could have done is copy this, we'll call it simple toggle two, right? Maybe even, maybe even change the color, go to adjust color, we'll change the hue on it a little bit. Save that out. So, You kind of work the two of these together. Let me run this. Didn't actually try this videos off, but yeah, there you go. So the the thing here though is that you'd really kind of need a separate variable for both of them. So whichever one you start with. All right, let's see. Yeah, but this one's kind of stuck now, right? Because uh, anyway, um, but it it just you know. A lot of these are just kind of code examples to see what's possible. So uh, if you were going to have two toggles, then you're probably going to need to have two variables as well. All right. Anyway, uh, that is going to do it for the first one of these videos. And uh, we'll be back with something fun in the next one.